Good evening. It's Wednesday, June 28, 2023. This open meeting of the Town of Auburn Conservation Commission is being operated as a hybrid format under Chapter 22 of the Acts of 2022. The public can join the meeting remotely by telephone 1408-650-3123 with access code 942-845-549 or the public can join via computer at um, HTTPS home backslash backslash global dot go to meeting dot com backslash join backslash nine four two eight four five five four nine all supporting materials that have been provided to members of this body are available on the town's website the public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda as a preliminary matter this is Tom Fallon I'm the vice chairman serving as chairman of the conservation commission this evening Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda participating remotely are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Michelle Colross? Here. Patrick Cunningham? Megan Lanley? Here. Catherine Nordberg? Here. Christopher Carey? Here. And Land Use Coordinator for the Town of Auburn, Jesse Everka? Here. Okay. Please note that each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. This meeting is being recorded by Auburn Cable Television. If there are applicants participating remotely, please uh, state your name and address when you call upon as if you're attending in person. The first item on our agenda is the 7 p.m. hearing. The applicant, BSC Group, can notice of intent for the property at 369 Southbridge Street for construction of a walking path between the Auburn Public Library and Goddard Park. Good evening, Mr. Byrne. Good evening. My name is Matt Byrne. I'm a senior ecologist with BSC Group. And I'm glad to be with you. And sorry I couldn't be absolutely with you, but uh, <laughs> such is life. That's okay. Um, so we did receive some comment from Echotech um, regarding this notice of intent. Um, some comments from Paul McManus and Kate O'Connell from Echotech. Um, were you able to get a copy of these as well? Yes, I was able to review those. Okay. Um, do you want to? Can you discuss the length? Um, what what your plans are going forward from here? Sure. Um, you know the comments. I think were were good and constructive. Um, it, just to go through them quickly, uh, he's, he they brought up uh, invasive species. Perfectly good thing to to aim to. Uh, do some invasive species management on the site. Um, focusing on knotweed and bittersweet uh, make perfectly good sense, and I, I think that that's uh, something we can we can definitely accomplish. Uh, his second, their their second comment was recommending plantings within the riprap apron below the dam. I need to speak with engineers about that. I know that there, there's always concern about vegetation growing in riprap because it can ultimately compromise the stability of a slope that's that's uh, maintained with riprap. Um, you know, if the engineering recommendations suggest that that, that could work, um, I, I think that would be reasonable to pursue. Um, I think so. I think I'd want to, um, you know, have the opportunity to get back to you on on that specifically. Okay. Uh, the renaturalization of the library lawn, I think there's good opportunity there. That's a large area that, as they point out, um, is, is basically inactive. Uh, as you folks are aware, there is a program for library uh, expansion into that, into some portion of that area. I have no idea really what the details of that are. So I, I hesitate to, to the talk about the extent to which we could renaturalize how much of that lawn but i think that that's uh you know if, if that were a condition to you know do some square some amount of revegetation along that uh library lawn i think that's that's a great opportunity there um the bank side planting is is one of the areas that we we discussed in the field um if if everyone remembers, it's a very steep bank. There'll be about seven or eight feet between the, the finished trail and the edge of the pond and edge of wetland. Um, so there's there's definitely opportunity to get some vegetation there, uh, some native plantings, um, you know, with a with a, a 
wetland seed mix um, and some shrubs and so forth. So I think we can definitely put together a plan to, to get some uh, revegetation of that of that bank side. And then the bat and bird nest boxes, I, I don't know kind of what kind of what budget would be available for, for pursuing that. Um, seems like a reasonable thing to talk about doing, but again, um, budgets being what they are. Um, when I was a scout master, I had one of my one of my Eagle Scouts. That was one of his project. His project was to build bat boxes and install them in a local park. Might be a great opportunity for a local civic organization, you know, to kind of plug into this project in that way. Um, so that might be a better uh, opportunity, but but certainly, uh, you know, seems like a good recommendation and, and something we could pursue um, in some capacity. Um, do we have any questions from board members here? Um, I guess, I mean, I, I think that the recommendations by Echotech were reasonable and, and it's sounding now, I don't know, that it seems like the tone of the communication seems like more like Public Works is now more open to incorporating these things into the plan than they were previously. Um, is this something where, you know, we're willing to actually like formally incorporate these elements into a plan or it's like we think it's a good idea, but we're not going to like formalize it as a plan? Um, I, I don't really know how to answer that. I have not spoken with Public Works. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of just having the opportunity i got this today so i've had a chance to read through it and 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 sort of digest it but i haven't had the opportunity to, to bring these to the project managers and so forth so i can't say you know what appetite there is um but as the as the um, project representative these things see all our reasonable recommendations and you know i, I think they're definitely worth um, trying to pursue, you know, if, uh, if these were conditions of the, of the order, um, you know, there's, there's a certain degree of, of, um, uh, control you folks have over that, I think. So, um, you know, if it might be, it might be a good thing to have, um, you know, a, an opportunity to put a put a response in paper and see see how that resonates with with you all, and that could be done. You know, on from our end, having an opportunity to present this to the DPW and and, and get some response from them, and and see what is technically feasible, and get that onto um, into a, a formal response to the commission. I mean, that seems reasonable to me. Yeah. Um, now, what's the timeline? I know that you said that this you were getting some grant money and this was going to be going out to bid. Um, do you have a certain date that you're trying to get this? <clears throat> I know that um, the, the bid went out. Uh, they received some, they received comment or they received um, proposals and due to um, things that I don't necessarily understand, they're going to go back out to bid. They're going to rebid the job um, to address some some quirks that came in in, in one of the in the winning proposal. Um, so I think that we are set back a little bit to begin with, uh, just in that whole process. Um, and also, I know that the bridge is is being prefabricated and, and won't be available till spring. Bring, if I remember correctly, so so we're we're, we're not as pinched as we were um, when we started this conversation. So I think if we were to um, you know, continue um, this week and and um, you have an opportunity to, to have this conversation with DPW and put together a formal response, that would that I think is not a problem from a. a um, project timeline standpoint. 
would you be willing to come back on uh, at our next hearing, which would be July 12th? I'm going to give you, everyone on the board here, as well as yourself, an opportunity to overlook everything and, um, you know, run it by everybody, see what see what you can have for a plan and um, get the ball rolling. I'm actually on vacation on the 12th, um, so let me tentatively say yes with, uh, and I would send the, um, the project manager, the BSC project manager in my stead. Um, and then if, uh, if it turns out that he can't, do that i would i would let jesse know that we need to uh, continue one more time okay with that being said could i have a motion i move that we have a hearing for eco check environment or move the meeting for eco check oh no sorry 369 south Bridge street to july 12th at what seven o'clock yep 7 p.m second a second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 All in favor, it's a vote. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Great, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time. I think that's a great idea, building the fat boxes. Yeah. Do you remember? No, Michelle, do you remember we had a Boy Scout that came in front of us yeah. about four or five years ago? Yeah. Right, yeah, and we're like, oh, that's great. I think that we should talk to the girls. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's great. Yeah. Like, that's a great I, thing. like honestly, I, you know, like I, yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. I like yeah, it. yeah. That's certainly something I could try to coordinate. Okay. See if there's any interest. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That, that was a good idea. Great idea. I was, when you said bird boxes, I actually started thinking about that. I was going to bring it up. I was like, yeah, one of us should. Like, I would have no problem trying to build some of those myself. So. <laughs> Yeah, are always looking yeah. for projects like that. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Okay. Um, the next hearing is a 705 applicant Michelle Weagle for determination of applicability for the property at 73 Shore Drive to install natural gas plastic pipe in the existing paved roadway in the applicant's property using the open trench method. That's me. That's you. Could you come on up? Sure. Right here. And state your name. My name is Michelle Weagle, 73 Shore Drive. So seriously, I was looking at this for a long time thinking, wow, is that my eyesight? Or is that really like <laughs> <laughs> that's what they sound like? <laughs> yeah. And I actually had him print it because it was even worse. <laughs> So you are looking to put just a uh, natural gas connection from the street to, yes. to your home, and they're going to do the open trench method. That's what um, they said. They'll hand dig it and have it done that same day or whatever. Once the work's done, they're going to cover it back up. Now, as an aside, we do have um, further on our agenda, um, I think from Eversource, that they're doing a new gas main on Sword Street, which is right around the corner from here. They're doing it as they're getting ready to redo the road and mill it, which is a perfect time rather than build the road and then dig it up after. Yeah. Um, yeah, they just replaced all the gas lines at the other end of Shore Drive, mm -hmm. but it only went to like Bay Ridge. They didn't come down to me, so. They there, stopped. there was previously a gas line in my house, it was my grandmother's house. Um, yeah. But by the time I moved in, which was about 20 years ago, mm -hmm. it was shut off. They, they stopped on my street about five houses down the opposite way, not even from the main street. I coming think I'm out. the so only house on my side of the my street. My name has propane. That doesn't, that doesn't have gas. <laughs> um, and the reason is because, so I have, I just switched to um, electric heat pumps mm -hmm. from oil. Sure. It's my furnace cracked. Mm -hmm. And, um, but my hot water is still tied into the oil. Mm -hmm. So I have to keep putting diesel in my, <laughs> my oil tank to keep getting hot water. Um, so I want to switch to a. But it's, a big, yes. big pain. it's a big pain. Yeah. And it's probably worse for the environment than yeah. digging a hole. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So when would you be when is that when is this supposed to happen? I didn't They're just waiting on you guys. Oh. Okay. I assume that ever source person on the meeting is for me. <laughs> um good they evening. Might, oh, they might be. They might be waiting for the later one. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're just waiting on I think on they were. They kinda 
stuck it all on her. To yeah, they're just waiting. <laughs> this out. I don't know what I have to yeah. give them, but they they called me actually about two weeks ago, and I was like, well, it's my own fault because I missed the earlier meeting because um, I didn't get the paperwork in. But they said they're ready to go whenever. Okay. And I tell them that you guys said okay. That's okay. That's right. Can we, is there a way to pull up the property map online just to yeah. see it yeah, in better resolution than this? I'm having a hard time. Yeah, I think that's the property. Open already. Yeah. yeah, so that's right here. Oh, okay. Still yeah, my not. house is super close to the street. And but yeah, it is. It's right off the road, and then that's yeah. the uh, approximate wetland buffer line. So, so blue is the but one line green is the hundred or green is where the pipeline's going out, right? No, the, no. It looks like the green is the hundred foot well and buffer. Yeah, so that's a hundred feet. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So yeah, so that's why they're just you know they're just uh, kind of really I see. getting in there. Yeah. I think they're just covering themselves. Yeah, I mean they there are houses further up that they replace the lines on that are way closer to the water than I am. What's the uh, so is like where the white blob is? Is that your house? That's like the middle of my house. That's my. Yeah, room. that looks like some sort of like vent or something I, okay. coming off. That's your that's house. That's not the general area though. I'm that's assuming right. like that's this square. square. That square is my is okay. my house. Yeah. Yeah. picture right of his perspective. I got you. There we go. Yeah, it's super oh, it's, close to the road. Yeah, okay. Right in front of the road, so it's like. I got gotcha. you. The great distance or anything. Yeah, they're not going to be taking All right, so <laughs> just arrows. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, they probably got that from Google. I don't know, but. Any other questions from the board members? Um, I mean, what would be, I mean, I guess it would be a question for Eversource, just like what would be like the scope of the, I think it's on the paper, right? Yeah, yeah they, I think I read it on the paper that they, I mean, I can tell you that when they replaced the gas lines off the street, they were super overkill with like the buffers and yeah. yeah, they're not messing around with uh, conservation, I don't think. Normal with any potential for impact of waterways, but let's really go to this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any questions. Yeah. Uh, do we have any public comment? On each or online? Yeah. Okay. That being said, um, do, can I have a motion to close? I make a motion to close the meeting. Can I have a second? Second. second. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Chris. All right, we'll give it to Chris. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Just get involved. Uh, we'll make a decision at the end of the night and okay. we'll be all set. All right. Do I? Um, I'm not sure what they would need from you. So that would be, I'll uh, fill out the paperwork tomorrow with whatever gets issued later tonight and I'll follow up with you. Okay, tomorrow. yeah, because I would like to yeah, get it going. going. So I'm not lugging my diesel every day. Yeah, of course. I'll make sure that I get that done tomorrow and I'll get the All paperwork. Right. I'll reach out to them too and get them the paperwork, so. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. Thank yeah, of course. Okay, other business. Um, we have um, looking for a certificate of compliance for 10 Commonwealth Ave. Um, Mike Garland, myself, and Chris went out last, was it last Saturday or two Saturdays ago? Uh, last Saturday. Last nope. Saturday. Two yeah, Saturdays ago. Two Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. Saturdays. Um, I don't know if, Michelle, I think you went there. It was an area that used to be like an old kind of quarry. Off it, was, it was a house. Um, Mr. Kowalski is here tonight representing the applicant. Um, Thank you. We went there, we walked the site, they were home. It looked like they were just starting to like get stuff going. Ooh, so we told them who we were, walked around, everything looks great. Um, it's quite a steep pitch on the side of the hill there, but I mean, as far as everything, all the work that was done, um, yeah, it looked great. I just left there and even during this pouring rain, mm -hmm. the water was clear all the way to the back. There are other Coltec units. There was more dirty water in that road because it's mm -hmm. dirt. Sure. The water from the road does not come over that. They did put a little hump on the asphalt mm -hmm. so that it can come into the lot. The retaining wall, if you're standing on the road facing in on the left, mm -hmm. that does hold that slope up and sure. the other retaining walls. So the uh, 
it's stable. There was no oh, yeah. no erosion even during this heavy downpour, which I just I didn't yeah. get my chaps on, referring, which I, I don't know why. I'm but to like the backyards on the side. Yeah, you know, oh like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a good distance away, but it's like wow, that yeah. is quite a slope, but it's way off to the side. It was a gravel removal pit, hydrologic soil group A, uh, a Hickley soil, and so that and that had been left that way for years, and the, the house is now in that old pit area. Okay, but um, stable and Caltech units, two of them to infiltrate the roof runoff. We appreciate it. All right. Let's see. I'm at a blank here. Should we take a vote now on issuing it? We might as well, right? Yeah. Um, can I have a motion for an issuance of a certificate of compliance for 10 Commonwealth Ave? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Okay. Um, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Uh, it's a vote. Okay. Thank you. The last hearing this week, I'm leaving for Crete tomorrow to dive on top of uh, the southern side of the island. Oh, oh, so. Here we go. We're out of here. Enjoy. Hopefully, it's not going too deep. Huh? What's that? Hopefully, you don't see those tuna fish cans I told you about. Oh, tuna fish cans. You remember, I told you I dove there. Oh, you did, that you had been there, maybe honeymoon or something, and it was a mess. Let's hope not. I'll take pictures if I see it and bring it right. back, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you, Jess. Yeah, enjoy your trip. They would only let you dive within this quadrant area. I saw this tuna fish can, so it was like, wow. yay me. Yeah. I got that going for me. It's everywhere. <laughs> All right, the next item is a notification from Solitude Land Management. Uh, it's a request for the extension of the permit for Leesville Pond. It looks like the extension is due to expire on August 14th. I don't know, I mean, this board's always had the opinion, like any time they can, when we have the money in the budget, when they do the de-weeding process, it's always good for the town and for the body's water and all and stuff. I agree. I mean, I'd like them to see more because there's so many of the ponds right now are just so, they're a mess. Yeah. Um, there was three that they were supposed to be doing last year and did they, did they push that? If I remember correctly? Uh, yeah. I think they pushed it because of endangered, there were like some endangered dragonflies or something and that like, uh, mass DP or like they needed to do a more in-depth review or something. Yeah, I think you're right about that. I think they wanted to fairly evaluate the population, so it got pushed back. Yeah. I think that's happened a couple times, but. And I haven't heard any more on it. Mm -hmm. But the lakes but that are wasn't becoming for swamps. This one, I don't think. They are, they are rather weedy. Yeah. yeah. You're right about that. It's not even just yeah. the fishing. If they're gonna start, especially with malaria popping up around yeah. the United States, it's not good for mm -hmm. anything. So, I'm all in favor of Can I have a motion to issue a three-year extension on the permit for Leesville Pond? I vote that we, yes, renew a three-year extension. And could I have a second? A second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. <clears throat> the next item on our agenda here for other business is 9 St. Mark Street. Uh, there was a drainage change with the approved order of conditions. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody. Could you just state your name for the record? Sure. Uh, so my name is Rob Luce here with CMG. We're the design engineers on this project. And before I start, thank you very much for having us tonight. I know, and Jesse, especially for helping us coordinate getting on the agenda tonight for a discussion item. Um, since kind of a time sensitive matter. So I, we greatly appreciate uh, you having us. So just to kind of go over what's going on, um, I'm not sure if everybody remembers this project. I think it was approved about a year ago. Mm -hmm. It was June of last year. Um, there's an existing commercial building at 9 St. Mark Street, which is kind of located in the center of the property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would it be easier? I did not bring a, a easier. Yeah, I do have. Is this the one we're yep. looking at right now? Yeah, that's one of them. Um, yeah, I have yeah. them all uploaded. I'm not sure if you... So the previously approved is there. All right. I, the one that you have up, I think, will okay. suffice. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll just go over just a broad overview of kind of 
why we're here and what we're looking for. So as far as the project goes, we were, um, we we're proposing an 11,200 square foot addition on the existing building. And then with that, we did some additional paved parking areas towards the front of the site, just to meet zoning requirements and to allow truck access to an overhead door on the addition. And with that, in order to treat the stormwater runoff and paved areas and the proposed roof area, we were proposing a Coltec recharger system underneath the ground to and um, water quality units. Now, when we get to the issues with construction, we had 2014 dye test results from what CMG was doing, they were doing some work inside the building for the floor drains and we wanted to verify to make sure the floor drains weren't connected to the roof drains or stuff wasn't going into the sewer system. And with that, they were able to trace roof drains along this side of the building. I have shown it as a blue line here, which basically ran along the side of the building to some terminus in this area, which ended up going out to, there's a culvert that discharges to Pondville Pond, which is this, the limits of it is this green line. Mm -hmm. So what occurred, what, or what we were hoping to do was keep this in place and keep the existing roof area isolated. Well, during construction, we found that this pipe, something happened to it, whether it was crushed or clogged. We're not too sure what occurred, but we can't reuse that, or if we do, we would basically be chasing a trench all the way to Pondville Pond. There is a culvert located behind this building that connects this wetlands to Pondville Pond, and we really don't want to do any damage to that culvert since it's functioning properly right now, and it could open up a can of worms, especially since there is a sewer easement along the back of the property as well. So what we are hoping to do is we're keeping our Coltec rechargers in place. Instead of the entire addition going to our recharge system, we want to just use this roof area, which is shown in a hatch, and then half of the existing, which will go to the recharger system. This solid hatch would be uh, roof drains that discharge to it's a pond, essentially, just a surface basin. There are some pretty less than ideal soils in that area. So we did do a whole modeling of everything to make sure that we weren't discharging more water to this wetlands. And um, we weren't accounting for infiltration by any means because there is some organic matter and such. So we tried to be very conservative <clears throat> with our approach to this. Now, the reason why we are here is because we were discussing this with the DPW because we have a land disturbance permit open for this. And the DPW is not, well, we're gonna have to do an amendment to that. And they want to assure essentially that every other permit that was associated with this, because we have a planning board uh, site plan approval as well for this and order of conditions that the other land use boards are okay with what we're doing and that we don't have to do any amendments to those permits. It's our opinion, because we're not really changing the hydraulic connections by any means that this would be pretty much a field change, but that's not our determination, that's the commission's. Now, we did um, submit items to the planning board and the planning board has Graves Engineering, the peer review consultant, reviewing this. So basically, we're not looking to, to strong arm anyone tonight and say, you know, can you please ish, you know, make a determination that this is a field change. We're really just trying to expedite the process of making sure that all the materials are in place to the Conservation Commission and Planning Board to make sure you're comfortable with whatever decision you make, essentially. So um, basically, what I would recommend is if the commission's interested in going to the site, we can schedule a site walk. We wouldn't mind getting on the agenda for the next meeting once we have peer review comments back or to answer any questions that you might have um, tonight as well. So that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, I think I definitely want to see the peer review. Yep. Um, 
and, and see what they would have to say. Did you did you watch that site? I know me and Mike I, and I, I did it. Mike and I did it. I think I don't remember if somebody else. I, I was there. I don't. We kind of. And we couldn't we, really get super. We into walked it. in. Yeah, we found like a couple of manual covers. There was a lot of heavy green yeah. stuff grass and everything yeah, else yeah, well, yeah there's this, a lot of fencing around it yeah it's really fence yeah um, this you know. whole sewer easement is extremely thick and overgrown yeah. and it looks like it is super close to where the wetland is right yeah so there is this wetlands continues i think it's a channel essentially that goes behind the industrial park and then that's where that culvert comes into play and discharges over here um so yes this is close we are not changing the limit of work because in this area we were proposing basically if there was material that needed to be stockpiled we were going to put that there because mm -hmm. there are some as i said yeah, some very unfair. you're saying pond like Co uh, correct yeah, yeah. Thanks. so yep no absolutely seems like there's going to be significant some amounts of water that is going to go in there yeah it's it is definitely a, a fair amount of roof area that's going in there right. correct because like just from this storm and the runoff from like you know a driveway into yeah like, the street has been collecting and it's almost a pond that ducks can land on so i mean at that point if you're collecting all of it from half of what looks like a pretty significant roof area absolutely I mean, yep. it's gonna yeah and so Graves is going to take a look at, or they are currently looking at, to make sure that all the hydrology that we proposed for this is, is, gonna, is in line. Because yeah. one thing, as I said, the, the soils are not very good in this back corner. Um, so we're not accounting for any infiltration. I'm sure it will infiltrate, but one thing that we really wanted to make sure was there wasn't going to be um substantial standing water in this basin for long periods of time because i know it was just brought up malaria and we don't want it to be a mosquito haven right, over here exactly so like one thing that we're proposing is we're going to do a four inch under drain wrapped in stone and filter fabric just to allow some dewatering okay. during um you know if there is a, a okay. substantial rain it will drain and because you're saying there's a culvert that goes in there that is actually viable right now that's going to the other side correct I mean, how old is that and how fast will that deteriorate if it's taking on all of the extra water that's going over there? I mean, is that going to be in the study that who's doing? Yeah, so that's an excellent point because we really do not want to touch the culvert because it's just, it's in the sewer easement. We don't really know where it's going. We just know it's working and functioning properly. Right. So as part of the initial process, when we did our um, the, the first round for the NOI, we evaluated this area as its own um, design point okay. to make sure that we weren't increasing flows to this. Okay. And we did the same thing. That's how we size this basin because it is discharging to that point. Uh -huh. So we wanted to make sure that we're not increasing flows okay. to that culvert. Okay. Right. So, but that is, that's kind of that is an excellent point that's kind of the main reason why we're going through this exercise and i think that's why the dpw really wanted to okay. get a peer review gotcha. for this right, so the, the culvert that's carrying the water from that would be carrying the water from that pond is that green little dash there this green is actually just the limits there's a few wetland flags in this corner this wetland kind of continues okay. in this area i believe it's a channel that flows to this area from behind. There's more industrial properties on yeah, the side. I, yeah, I live real close to there. Okay. That, 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 where, where, where was the culvert exactly that's gonna be carrying the water away from? The culvert, the head wall is here. We have it located on the plans. It's a little tough to see because it's grayed back, but, and we know that it goes from here and ends up somewhere over here. I know the culvert's located. The actual, you know location of that culvert we're not too sure where it goes we just know that based on because we had to go out here numerous times for different aspects mm -hmm. both for permitting and during construction we know that it's flowing so but it's going from there to to the pond over there not from there to the swampy area the culvert the, yeah, the co yeah, so the culvert is flowing from this this location to Pondville Pond. Okay. Correct. So then the water in the retention pond 
would be going directly into that culvert also? Or it would be going, that's what I'm having trouble understanding. Yeah, the overflow would. So basically what we had to do was for, so Massachusetts stormwater manual makes it, it, you have to make sure that you're not going to be increasing the peak rate flow okay. volume. So basically that's why we initially use this as a design point. We had three for the site, Mark, St. Mark Street, this design point and a design point at um, Pondville Pond because basically some of the site flows this way, some mm -hmm. of it goes this way. Really, these two wetlands, since they're hydraulically connected with that culvert, they're pretty much the same resource area, okay. but we wanted to specifically split it up because we wanted to make sure that we weren't going to be increasing flows to a head wall that would increase flows to this culvert. Okay. So we're trying to be as conservative as possible and make sure that we're not increasing flows into the culvert. Okay. So. so I have another question. Then. Sure. All right, so how did you determine which water was going to go to which area? You, you, the roof area, as yeah. you mean? So what we're going to do is, so this is constructed, but the roof leaders are not constructed yet. Okay. So those are going to be located in the correct areas and piped underground. So these, we would basically have roof leaders or, or downspouts, I should say, okay. at each location. There will most likely be three of them, which will go underground and then outlet into this pond. Okay. The ones that are for this area and for this area are going to be piped underground and actually are going to go into the um, the drainage system that's underneath the uh, parking lot. So, all right. Yeah. Would anybody like to do a site visit not this Saturday, possibly this Saturday after? Yeah, I was going to say, <clears throat> yeah. July weekend. Yeah, no way. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Please, not this yeah. weekend. <laughs> You're going to have them for anyway, so no. Yeah. yeah, the weekend after I can July, play. Saturday, July 8th, 9 o'clock. Yeah. We can meet at the site. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'm going to mark that. So July 8th, 9 o'clock. I was going to say, if all else fails, I mean, we can always crumple up some of our plans into the downspouts because it seems to absorb water pretty well. Right. Yeah. Pretty rainy. You know, I didn't even hand these out. I apologize. If anybody wants them for your record, this is just plans or our narrative. Here you go, sir. Sorry about that. That probably would have been helpful to yeah, give to you a little easier. while ago. <laughs> That's okay. If you'd like, I can take the yeah, sure. distribute this to yeah, absolutely. Make it tonight. So, all right. Any chance you can show me on that site plan the? Uh, Areas that are of contaminated soil. So I think the gradient kind of goes both directions, depending. Areas of, of it, yeah. Can you kind of you said the back corner of the building? Oh, you're yeah. talking about like the, the yeah, less like, favorable. Yeah. 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 So what I mean by that is in the front here, there's some nice sandy gravelly material. Okay. Back here is fill from whenever they ended up. Oh, okay. So it's not the super oh, stuff. I see. Yeah, it's not contaminated. Okay. So it's just it has like organics in it yeah. and stuff. So what is yeah. the roof material? Is it metal shingle? I believe it's metal. Yeah. <coughs> We're not in a zone two, so we need the filtration. So. Uh, any other questions or comments from the board? Okay. Perfect. Well, I really appreciate your time again and look forward to the site visit. And um, like I, I think Graves is working on that peer review right now. So hopefully we should have that for you know, when your next meeting is, but right. should have it soon. So anyway, thank you again. Thank you. Right. Nice. you too. Thank you. Bye. All right. Nice. Next item's business is Everslow Sword Street gas paint install. And we have um, Anna Huberty from Eversource here, and another lady here. Uh, could you please state your name? Hi, my name is Dorothy Lawrence. I'm with VHB. Good evening. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> so 
so earlier today, um, so like you said before, my name is Dorothy Lawrence. I'm here with Anna Hummerty. Um, we're here to talk about the Sword Street uh, gas main installation. It looked like somebody else was here earlier for their driveway um, installation. So you're familiar with the area. Yep. Um, early, I spoke with Jesse, um, I think on Monday about this project. And then I sent over today um, sort of like an information package with a map just to kind of explain um, what's going on. So you're already aware that they're milling the road in that area and they've sort of reached out to Eversource and asked if we could perform that work as soon as possible um, because they want obviously the utilities in the ground before they repave the road, which makes sense. Um, so basically we're just going to be installing a four inch plastic pipe of new gas main in Sword Street from Franklin Street for about 355 um, feet. It's going to be done open trench method, which is um, typical. You have a trench two to three foot wide, three to four foot deep. Um, the pipe is laid on sand and then it's backfilled and then any spoils and whatnot will be shipped off site and disposed of in a legal manner. Um, other than that, we're going to be doing erosion controls around the edge area. And the resource areas in that particular area are bordering land subject to flooding. And then we have the 100 foot buffer zone off the intermittent stream that's there. There is a culvert that sort of crosses Sword Street from Franklin Street, but they've moved the pipe so it's not going to cross the culvert. So we'll just be working in BLSF and the 100 foot buffer zone. And it's all going to be contained within the paved surface. So we're not going outside of that area. Um, and we're just hoping that the commission would be willing to accept a notification in lieu of an RDA just so we can accommodate the town's need to get this work done as soon as possible. I don't know if you guys have any questions. I'm happy to answer them or if there's any thing else that we could sort of do that would um, make this easier. We did write that for if there is dewatering, I don't I don't foresee it happening that we'll do it with the vac truck so we don't have to worry about any type of turbidity, turbid water or anything of, of that nature and whatnot. And um, we'll have erosion controls up, of course. Okay, um, I don't have any questions. Any questions for the board members? Okay. Well, thank you for coming out tonight and um, presenting us with your plan here. And um, are you, when would you be looking to start the work, right? Like, yes. Like as <laughs> as soon as you, <laughs> you're not wrong. As soon as if if you are willing to accept a notification, we will create the notification and send it to you, and then work will start fairly quickly afterwards because the town has already started milling the road, so they're really anxious to get this work done. Um, as soon as possible, basically. Right, when we put so, two, yeah. typical two to three weeks uh, for the Sword Street portion, it would be about two to three weeks of construction. Okay. Okay. Um, could I have a motion to approve uh, the plan for Eversource to do the, um, yeah, the open pit, open trench method of 355 feet of forest plastic gas pipe on Sword Street? So I move. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. It's a vote. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Much. Thanks so much. We'll get that notification over to you as soon as possible. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thanks. All right. So we got some. <clears throat> so we, we went over two of these meeting minutes, but we deferred. Oh. I just have a question about. So we just approved the plan, but was there actually a plan or are we just going to, or do we need to issue a negative determination? Like, for no. well, it wasn't an RDA. It was basically because they're utility that is coming in front of the board just to let us know, like, okay. what they want to do. Was there this just a request yeah. for determination? Right. So Michelle Weagle is a request for determination. Right. Right. Well, what's the actual document that we approved? I'm, I'm just trying to understand. That's what. a good point. It would be the, um, so when you sat down, there was the uh, Ecotech letter, and then underneath that, there was a, you know, technically a notification of work. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and I think, I guess oh, I the motion, like, for... <gasps> I thought this yeah. was for Michelle Weigel. They look, they're basically the same, same thing, because it is, you know, yeah. but virtually is, the same work. Yes, that is the document. Yes, is the is the document yes. So do they need to submit, just like to cross our X's, like, do they need to submit? 
I don't know. I'm just I'm not sure. I think that don't because they're utility generally. Right. Yeah. Kind of be like when um, National Grid like does pull yeah. stuff. Yeah. When they like, yeah, cool. Thanks for letting us know. That's exactly because their their language was they wanted to find out if the commission would accept a notification of work right. in lieu of you know an actual filing of an RDA yeah. or NOI. Okay, that's cool. Because I remember that whole thing. We tried to push that one time, and it yeah, and it didn't, basically it didn't like go we're here as a courtesy. Yeah, and it didn't it go like, oh, yeah, yeah, and they do. They have um, because I wanted I wanted what chemicals they were. Spending. Yeah, I remember that very well. It's a pretty reasonable thing to want to know. Pretty, and they you would think they'd be they happy were, to provide that. Yeah. No. That even raises. I, I can tell you. That raises a much were. larger red flag yeah. if they yeah. don't want to tell you. We don't want to tell you. Um, but do you, do you want to vote on Michelle Weigel? I think we Yeah. Oh, we, uh, then we, we have we not. Minutes. We should not. Yeah. Yeah, we closed, but, um. Yep. All right. It seems um, like the sooner the better. For, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Regarding, uh, the Michelle Weigel for an RDA for the property at 93 Shore Drive. Um, do I have a motion? I motion. Move. Ooh, go ahead. You do it. <laughs> you go. Motion to proceed with. Uh, oh crap. Negative oh, yeah, Negative. Negative RDA. I will second that. Okay. All in yeah. favor say aye. 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 It's a vote. Rose. <laughs> I'll just ignore that one. I'm making the minutes. Thank the electric. <laughs> yeah, right. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Chris Carey with utmost confidence. <laughs> I messed you up. So, right. I have some meeting minutes that we deferred, and one of them was where we changed the number from five to six. That was for the March 22nd. And I honestly don't recall why we deferred them, but I have a note on here that we did. And we're in uh, That's because so. I think that we weren't sure who voted on what. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. One was the adjournment at the end, where I had given either Catherine or Michelle credit for both. I think it was Michelle. I've got Michelle. So I was yeah. the one that seconded it. Yep. Okay. See, playing the tape back, it was honestly, you guys were so quick about it. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard. Yeah. It was difficult to tell, but hopefully that accommodates, you know. That guy watching us from uh, Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> uh. well, the scary part was the name of the email. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Open, uh, open yeah. meeting lawn. Yeah, yeah. Open the meeting enforcer. Lawn. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. All right, hey. gotta keep us on our toes, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, I know. So I, I say we accept the meeting minutes for March twenty second. Can I have a second? Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to abstain. I was going to say, you were yep. there. <laughs> so, okay. okay, wait, shut up, Chris. Yep, we're good. We're good. All right. Um, and I looked at everything on May 24th, and I say we accept the meeting minutes for May 24th. I'll second that again. All in favor say aye. 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 Shall we go three for three? I think that you <laughs> need to abstain, Megan. Uh, it was the president remotely. Oh, yeah. I, that's right. I'm sorry. Not absent. Remote. Do you remember what the revision was on the 14th? Oh, uh, June? Yeah. yeah. That was just the most that's recent one. That was a recent one. one. Oh. It wasn't a revision. But I did beat it. I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> and we basically just went over minutes. I don't know what so anymore. Yeah. I... I have not really anything to fix on this. You must be so psyched these are done. I'm very relieved, yeah. <laughs> well, it's been good. I mean, for the last few months, it hasn't been bad because I knocked out, you know, basically the whole year within the first month or so of being here. 
But being done with the revisions and everything, and now just having like last just meeting to go off of. How cool is that for you? That's awesome. Oh, it's. Good for you. I'm, I'm grinning. Yeah. <laughs> Through all those meetings, do you do like the planning? I do the zoning sometimes. But yeah. Those are nice too, because it's only one a month. So I mean, sometimes they run a bit longer, but usually it's a little bit easier than. Yeah. Yeah. I say we accept the meeting minutes for Wednesday, June 14th. And I second them. Sure. Favorite say aye. Aye. Okay, a three in a row. That makes it so easy for I me. Know. Just copy paste, copy paste. Yeah. You know? I'm list? looking at all the things on here. It's like five approved, two abstained, five were present. Like everybody's yeah. just different. I'm like, wow. I know. It's super. Oh, it's a little mind numbing. <laughs> I do have a couple other things. It won't take long at all, I promise. You were my friend. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I do all the minutes. I can bring up a couple things. We give him some slack. One is more, I guess I'm just notifying you guys. I got a complaint about, uh, I think it was around a year ago, or I guess over a year ago. In November of 2021, an order of conditions was given at 17 Willis Street. And one of the neighbors who lives at 11 Elmwood feels that they might be uh, going against some of the guidelines that were laid out in that. So I pulled the file, I'm gonna go check it out and then I'll take some pictures and let you guys know how that goes. And then the other thing, this is more of a question. I don't know if you guys will be able to help me, but I figured I'd ask you while you're here. There's, uh, so actually the resident of 10 Auburn Hill Road, they're trying to sell their residence and there's an open order of conditions way back from I believe 1977 oh, damn. and a bunch of the lots there were given a certificate of compliance a long time ago but that specific lot which is 40 did not receive one so I just wanted to you know I don't I don't know if you guys have any idea if you've ever ran into something like yeah, that is, serving is this the first so. time if like this is the first time I believe so yeah recently. there wasn't any record of anything being denied and that's also, if you guys don't know, I can just reach out to DEP about it because they might know a little bit better. I just figured I'd ask you while you were here, you know. Yeah, you weren't even, were your parents even married at that point? No. No. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was nine, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't there? I wasn't there. I was there. eight. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, yeah. I figured I wouldn't get anything, but I also figured it couldn't hurt to ask. Sure. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, no. All right. Well, yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'll reach out to the state tomorrow to see what they say. All right. I do have something, though. Um, could you, while you're out and about mm -hmm. looking and stuff, could you maybe look at Bren Ma and yeah. just make sure that they have all erosion control measures in place as they're yeah, supposed sure. to? Yeah. I'm not absolutely sure they do. Okay. Good to know. At which Is there a specific, like, next to, I know there's that it's big... supposed to be down by where the waterway is. Okay. But there's the some, in the, in the very back where the dumpster is. Yeah, yeah. That's where the wetland is. Okay. Which address is it? Brenma. It's the school. So oh, the school. Oh, the school. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School. Yeah. Yeah. school. Oh, Brenma School. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll definitely look into that. Yeah. I've kind of blown by there and I haven't had time to stop. And yeah. I've, yeah, that's fine. That's what I'm here on, for. So. Yeah. And you guys do it off coming into meetings. Every day going to work. So. And always. I, mean, kind of, I, and I kept looking at it. Going, I haven't I don't, even I don't noticed erosion control measures. Yeah, I mean, I I thought maybe they were just further back than I could see and off the could road. Be, but and it could be because they could be using the straw water. So I could just be mm -hmm. just yeah. being. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, maybe just, with well, sometimes it's good to, you know, just if you ever see anything like that, let me know. I'm more than happy to go and check anything out. I've got plenty of time, so. Just kind of go look. That's yeah. Cool. Great. All right. Since there's no more visits, can I have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Five seconds. <laughs> We're doing it again. What was this about?